Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical K shape. So let's begin with the code. This is our output and here we can see stars in different rows and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loops. One is to print stars in the rows and another one is to print stars in the column. And here we can see 7 rows and 5 columns. So here in our code we can see first for loop. It is to print stars in the rows. And here row is the variable name and we are using range function. In our output 7 rows are there. So I will mention 7 here. So range is from 0 to 7. Inside that first for loop we are taking another for loop it is to print stars in the column. Here call is the variable name and in the output there are 5 columns are there. So I will mention 5 here. So range will be from 0 to 5. And inside that for loop we are using if else conditional statements. That is we want to print stars in some particular pattern for that we need condition. That's why we are using if else conditional statements. And here after mentioning if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. So for that we will see the output. So for that we will divide our output into three parts. One is this. Another one is this. And third part is this. So here first we are dividing our output into three parts. One part is this, second part is this and third part is this. So we will write the condition for these parts. And here we can see we want to print star in column 0. That is we want to print stars in the column 0 in each row. Right. So my first condition will be I will check whether column is equal to equal to 0. If it is true then I want to print star. Right. Next I will mention logical or. In the logical or if any one of the input is true then output is true. So here if any one of this condition becomes true then it will print star. That's why I will mention logical or here. Next we will move to the next condition. Now we will concentrate on this part. So we want to print star at row 4, column 2, row 5, column 3 and row 6, column 4. And here in these three stars we can see one similarity that is there is a common difference between row and column that is 2. Here we can see row 4, column 2 difference is 2. Here row 5, column 3, 5 minus 3 difference is 2. Here row 3, column 4, 6 minus 4, that is difference is 2. So here we can see the common difference between row and column. So we can write expression like this. I will check whether row is equal to equal to column plus 2. If it is true then I want to print star there. So this is the expression to print star here. That is to print these three stars. Here we can see we want to print star at column 2, column 3 and column 4. So column should be greater than 1 at that time. So here if it is true at that time column should be greater than 1. Okay this is my second condition. That is I will check whether row is equal to equal to column plus 2. If it is true I want to print star. But at that time column should be greater than 1. We are done with the two parts that is column 0 and these three stars. Now we need to concentrate on this part. These four stars. But to print these stars we are using two variables. So I can't write that uh, condition here. So colon and here we can see print star. Here if any one of this condition becomes true then it will print star and here we can see end is equal to empty string in the print by default end value will be slash n 
but here we don't want any space or new line between the stars in a row so i mentioned end is equal to empty string here i'll take elif header that is else if i'll take another condition that is to print stars here okay for that i'll take two variables and i'll initialize value so i'll take i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 4 these are my two variables i and j here we can see we want star when row is equal to 0 and column 4 row is equal to 1 column 3 row is equal to 2 column 2 and row is equal to 3 column 1 here we can see initially row value is 0 and value is 4 and in the next line we can see row value will be incremented that is 1 here column value is decremented that is 3 here row value is incremented that is 2 here column value is decremented 2 right so here first initial value is 0 and 4 that's why here I took I value as 0 and 4 okay and here I'll mention the condition when rho is equal to equal to i and column is equal to equal to j I want to print star here initially i value is 0 and j value is 4 so first here i took row is equal to equal to i and column is equal to equal to j i value is 0 and j value is 4 row is equal to 0 and column is equal to 4 i want to print star so in the first iteration it will print star here so here colon and i'll mention i want to print star here and is equal to empty string and here what i'll do is for the next iteration i'll increment i value and decrement j value now first it will check row is equal to i and column is equal to j that is when row equal to 0 and column equal to 4 it will print star then it will execute this statement so i value becomes 1 and j value becomes 3 so after this here we can see row value 1 column value 3 so here row value is i and column value is j so when i value becomes 1 and j value becomes 3 it will print star here next again i value will be incremented so i value becomes 2 and j value becomes 2 so it will print star here then next i value will increment it to 3 j value decrement it to 1 so it will print star here i want to print star till here so here i need to mention column should be greater than 0 okay and here if both this condition become false then control goes to the else part and it will print space that is here we can see space right so to print this space else part will execute right next inside the first for loop we are using print that is after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line to print next star that's why we are using this print here and this code is quite different from the previous codes and here what we did is we divided our output into three parts and first we checked whether column is equal to zero if it is true we want to print stars in each row okay so we checked whether column is equal to equal to zero if it is true we want to print star next here to print these three stars we used an expression that is row is equal to equal to column plus two if it is true then we want to print star but only at column 2 3 4 that's why here we took column should be greater than one condition and here we used logical and operator and in the logical and operator if both the inputs are true then only output is true so to print star this and this condition should be true and next we took the condition for these four stars 
and here to print these four stars we are using two variables that is we are checking whether row is equal to equal to i and column is equal to j and here initially i value will be 0 and j value will be 4 and at that time column should be greater than 0 because here we want to print star at column 1 2 3 4 so here i mentioned column should be greater than 0 and if both of these condition becomes false then control goes to the else part and it will print space all right this is our code so we need to save this and run this so here we can see the output that is the stars in the alphabetical k shape all right that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care